Louisiana Beer Reviews, Rar and Sons. Adios Pantalones. Cerveza de Session. Beer with lemon and lime. Okay, a lemon and lime beer. Lime beer, 4.5% um, alcohol. Prost, y'all. This is from Texas. Um, well, the spring of 2019 so far has been, in Louisiana, has been more like hello again, jackets and sweaters, and not goodbye or so long, long pants. But uh, this beer gets, uh, they don't say anything about the ingredients except beer with lemon and lime. That's it. From what I can see on the website. Been out around a year or so, 2018, I think. There's some video reviews. Gets a good score on Beer Advocate. I would call that a C, but they're saying good. 72 out of 100, only 21 ratings. Only has eight ratings on Rape Beer, not even enough to really give it a score. Untapped saying a 69 out of 100 with 7,110 110 check ins. I've never had it. I bought this at Martin Wine Cellar. Uh, so. Some weirdo can wear jockey shorts and drink this. I, I don't know what that's all about. See a lot of smoke coming out this can here at 9.30 a.m. Here are sirens, hope everything's okay. seeing some bad stuff around here. Most of you, well, it's car wrecks, bike rider get hit by a car and smashing her head into the windshield, all kind of bad stuff. Okay, not much head, really white, the lighting is poor, hazy, golden. Now they're saying on a beer, I've got a rape beer, one of those that has been discontinued. Well, it's not discontinued. I think it even has the uh, born on the I'd like to extend to you an inv invitation to the pants party. Yeah, uh, I'm going to pass on that. Uh, 09618. Okay, I don't get that. Put a, put a date I can understand. Just put a regular date. A chap's my chapstick. Smells fruity, fruity. fruity malt like pale malt and fruit not anything too exotic or unusual 4.5 nice session a little high there for drinking too many but oh well no bitterness a little tartness from the fruit citrus acidity pale malt Low medium body in a crisp, um, mostly dry finish. Well, uh, be like if you were drinking, um, it's similar to like that um, Bud Light Lime. I don't know if this uses a high fructose corn syrup. The Bud Light Lime does gives that strange dryness. Dryness. This one's pretty dry like that. It might use that. I don't know. Um, seems like it does. I remember about three years ago, there was the Coors Light Summer Citrus Beer. This is similar to that, but this has more body than, than that. A slight little bit more body than the Bud Light Lime. Uh, I mean, I don't really want to drink any of those things. Uh, I think the Natter Days kills this, though, honestly. This would be like a 81 out of 100, like just getting into the B minus, you know, it, it, a B minus. Okay, so a B minus beer, it's marginally good. I, I've had some other Raw and Sons beers that are really dynamite, but uh, some people like the fruit flavored beers. Um, if you enjoy it, you may as well drink it. I do know that there's a nice, I do notice there's a nice yeastiness and a good deal of uh, bready malt. So I think you could probably argue it higher than an 81 if you drink on it and 
and you're thinking about it enough. But I, I think A minus is a fair score, so laissez les bon temps relay, a beer that's into the good range. And I'm gonna end this review by saying, y'all come on down to rainy Chile, April 2019, Southeastern Louisiana. <laughs>